SSDs. SSDs have pretty much become the golden standard of PC storage. Upon the conception of SSDs, the SATA 2 interface was fully saturated at 300 megabits per second. Naturally, SATA 3 came along and effectively doubling the throughput to 600 megabits per second. This standard lasted a while, a long while. Let me ask you this, when you shop for an SSD now, do you look for a 2.5 inch SATA 3 SSD? Or do you go for speed like the Samsung 970 EVO Plus? Hey, what's up OCNers, Blue Devil here. So, SSDs. Everyone I know when they go to build a computer, shops and buys an SSD. Hell, I use two one terabyte ADATA SSDs in the external Silverstone RAID enclosure. Check out that video right up here. But when typically I build a computer, I tend to go more on the speed side, which is what any modern motherboard with an M.2 NVMe slot is for. Using PCIe bus lanes instead of the aging SATA interface means that throughput can be massively increased. We are talking north of one, two, and even three gigabytes of sequential reads and writes. Well, today I have three M.2 NVMe drives for comparison. An oldie but a goodie, the Samsung 950 Pro 512 gigabyte. The Intel 660p one terabyte with the video here, and this guy, the Samsung 970 EVO Plus 500 gigabyte. In respects to the drives that I just mentioned, let's quickly run down the specs of each M.2 NVMe SSD. The Samsung 950 Pro was and still is a very capable drive, even by today's standards. Running Samsung's VNAN 32 layer 128 gigabit MLC rated to run at up to 2500 megabyte sequential reads and up to 1500 megabyte sequential writes, this NVMe drive still holds its own. Next up is the Intel 660p, which is running Intel's QLC memory, which has its ups and downs, literally. Rated at running up to 1800 megabytes in both sequential reads and writes, this QLC-based drive isn't a slouch. Lastly, the most recently released, the Samsung 970 EVO Plus, which is running Samsung's latest version of its VNAND flash memory of the three bit MLC variety. With up to 3,400 megabytes per second in sequential reads and sequential writes up to 2,300 megabytes, let's get onto the benchmarks. So obviously the 970 EVO Plus is dominating here, mostly due to the newer Phoenix controller that Samsung has developed. The Phoenix controller consists of a five core CPU, 512 megabytes of low power DDR4 RAM, previous Samsung 900 series SSDs, which had the Polaris controller, had five and three core CPUs with slower DDR3 RAM, making the new Phoenix controller a definite improvement over previous controllers. The Intel 660p is a much more value oriented NVMe SSD with lower cost QLC NAND memory using the Silicon Motion SM2263 controller. While the SM2263 is more than capable of delivering the speeds comparable to Samsung 970 EVO Plus. In large writes, however, the 660p lacks due to the QLC memory buffer. So in conclusion, is the Samsung 970 EVO Plus the fastest SSD to date? Realistically, only Samsung's own 970 Pro is faster by a mere 100 megabytes on the read times and 400 megabytes on the write times. Endurance with IOPS are also much higher with the 970 Pro. However, I do think those looking for better price to performance will look to the 970 EVO Plus as the one to pick. So the Samsung 970 EVO Plus gets a solid five out of five flames. Very solid SSD. All right, OCNers, I'm gonna go for now. If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, you know what to do. Also comment below. I love seeing your faces. Blue Devil, out.